Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well. In this Blender tutorial, this is going to be a very short, quick tip video. So I'm going to show you how to improve um, your blend shape, especially when using it for facial um, poses and deformation. So uh, let's go ahead and start. So basically, we have um, this example here. Um, so this sh character shape keys was created um, for the face app for iPhone and this is an old project so I can just share with you guys okay so basically the the previous shape key which I did for this was just simple um, this is like for the mouth smile underscore left um, so looking at this it looks cool and nothing is too bad but you can actually improve this even more further um, because one uh, of the downside of using shape keys is usually because of you don't get very nice smooth transition so it feels very stiff um, one thing that miss uh, misses miss from you that we miss from using shape keys or blend shape from amateur deform is the <coughs> kind of nice skin sliding um, which is usually quite tricky and difficult to get with shape keys because mostly with shape keys you're actually just pulling the geometry and you cannot create very nice transition of the topology to create this skin sliding um, there's a solution you could smooth it out and push stuff up but it's usually not very good and the best way to do this is actually slide this the geometry so there's already there's a way that is in blender currently that allows you to do that very easily and i'm going to share with that with you um, so let's see this the current example we have here so if i move this you can see how it feels a bit stiff um, so if we want to improve it, we'll just increase this and let's make sure we have the right shape key selected. So this is our guy and now we can go into sculpt mode and the brush we selecting is the, so if you hit the space bar, you have this and then we want to select the slide relax. Okay. So what this brush does is it's kind of pushes the polygon without losing the volume. So it's perfect for skin sliding because you just uh, once you move the, the the topology, it kind of creates that effect without really changing the volume of the geometry. So it's perfect. So we can just use that after creating the best the, the main position of the main the main pose of that shape key like we have here. Now we can then go further and use this um, slide relax and just pull it. <coughs> To, um, to create um, like skin sliding that um, just affect other area and what this, um, what this create is like a very organic motion and it also help allows you to like kind of relax some vertices and this is also very helpful for textures so your textures is not going to stretch um, because of this so you just move this and we have the topology um, very even and just slide it out so it's going to it's not going to mess up with the volume it's just going to slide it out <coughs> and once you've done that um let's comp let's see the new changes that we have so as we move it you can see we're getting um, some more interaction from other areas so we can go in case we want more interaction we can just go in and just slide it slightly so it feels like uh, the skin feel like it's interconnected um, which is what you get with more advanced rig uh, facial rig um, so but you can get you can cheat with this just using the skin slide and just pull it and of course having enough um, polygon is also good so and if we move this so you can see the result we're getting so it feels like the whole skin is moving and this is something you want to which is quite acceptable and it's gonna feel um, great so i'm just gonna show you one define a result of something like this i've done for a finished project just load it up now so this is a recent project i did and because of time constraint um, i wanted to create a fish um, face rig that is very uh not so complex because we are creating multiple characters of this kind of detail level and i'm handling most of the tasks so i wanted to create a character 
um, with just a decent face rig but not so complex um, so I wanted to do it with shape keys and using the same process I was able to achieve something very close to realistic so so as you can see how it's moving or I'll just turn this off I think it's slowing down so you can see how it's moving so this is created just with shape keys and using this particular technique to get it to feel like a more advanced looking rig and of course if you use constraints to kind of combine some other things it will even be greater so as you can see especially here you get a very nice skin sliding and we have one so it, it makes it feel quite organic and yeah so that's it um i think i've said enough and try it out it's pretty it's quite useful and quite fun it's going to save you a lot of time and it has a much upside and downside so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was informative if you enjoyed please give this video a like so that youtube can suggest it to blender other blender users and uh, so thank you for watching again bye bye for now see you next time